there. It's been a while. Uh, welcome to Road to Freaks, episode 8. Um, probably wondering why I'm laying down. Uh, there has been several moves in my life, uh, literal ones, and uh, that's been leaving me fatigued. So, a little tired, so I thought I would do my own intro in a very special way, which is a very relaxed position, mostly because I can't move my body anymore. Um, so for this episode, it's a little bit shorter than we normally run, um, life gets in the way and Josh and I were both exhausted, but you know, we made this commitment and we're holding ourselves accountable to make this movie. Uh, so we decided to focus on, uh, soundtrack and, uh, audio themes for each character and just like influences. So, um, it's going to be a cool dive in. Uh, from my understanding, the playlist is going to be public, so anyone can check it out. Uh, I love making Spotify playlists, so this was right up my wheelhouse, and I had a great time doing it. So hopefully uh, it comes across, and you can just kind of sit back, hang out. You can actually take this pose on your own bed if you'd like, or someone else's bed. I'm not your boss. Uh, and you can check it out and enjoy. So uh, I hope you do that, and uh, we'll, we'll talk real soon. I'll see you in episode 10. I think we both went through all of our drinks before we even started. That's why you always bring a second one. <laughs> oh, I don't want to drink that much tonight. I've been sleeping like shit the past week. <clears throat> I keep waking up at one in the morning. Oh, yeah. after the podcast, I got to show you the note I wrote to remember <laughs> my dream. It was, okay, it was great. fucking weird. But hello, everyone. Uh, Hi. I'll still do an intro, but we're back. It's been it's been like three weeks it's for us. It's been one three I have, weeks. I have uh, facial alopecia, so my beard is gone. Oh um, yeah, just short of a year. Just short of a year. That's okay though. New opportunities give you new things to do to your face. Uh, oh, luckily, so eloquent. <laughs> luckily, a lot thinner than the last time I shaved my face, so I look a little less husky beaver and a little more just sad uh <laughs> tired adult what are you uh, uh sitting at now what am i sitting at i am as of this morning i'm 164 and a half you are the skinny boy i am the skinny boy i'm the skinniest boy in the junk drawer show that's great click 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 oh, bitch. No. um your video okay it's back did it <laughs> um so from my understanding i think i'm next for the video intro so i think they already saw my video intro. Oh, I thought it was me. Mm-mm. I'm, uh, I'm odds you're evens. This should be seven. I think right? you're, I, th- I think so. One of I'm us will do it. I'm almost positive. Yeah. Either way, one of us will have done it. And tonight, uh, because we're both kind of tired because life yeah. is, uh, taking a toll. We are going <laughs> to work on a Spotify playlist to kind of build up a tone for the, the movie and then ideally, I think it'd be cool to have it actually be in the uh, movie if we can. I don't know exactly how rights work, but... What, the songs in the movie? Yeah, if, if there's some songs that are not made by huge people. Why are you giving me that look? I don't know if you remember this, but uh, in episode two, when we were listening to our shitty movie from 2009, one of them got flagged for Pink Floyd. Yeah, we didn't ask so Pink we don't... Floyd's permission. So we don't, we didn't ask Roger Waters, hey, can you be in my student film for high school? Yeah. So this time we can. So, all right, first song. <laughs> I think you're just shooting the down wall. The even, it'll probably work. We'll get some songs in there. We'll get Harry McCarthy to do something. I would love to get Harry McCarthy to do something again. Yeah. I mean, Jenna already said she'd be down to do a, a cameo. Oh, hell yeah. Um, so I think the first one that uh, I'd like to do. I've been listening to a lot of, in light of recent events, things have changed in three weeks. Um, (laughs) I've been listening to a lot of things I feel like I should have listened to back in high school uh, when I was listening to a lot of Beatles and The Who. I'm always like a decade or two behind Um, because then my early 20s was mostly 80s and synthwave and now I'm 
kind of dipping my toe back into um, Rage Against the Machine, and I'm Ooh. obsessed with Faith No More right now. Um, is that a band or is that the song? Faith No More is the band, and you'll remember the song because it's the We Care A Lot song. Oh, okay, okay. So I think that's going to be my first My first draft is We Care A Lot by Faith No More. <laughs> I'm, I'm with that. Because it's just – it's sarcastic. It's um, – when I think – like I feel like everyone needs – every character has a theme song, and I feel like that's Xander's theme song is We Care A Lot. Yeah, which uh, I'm going to pull up the lyrics too. Cause I feel like we can kind of go over them and care a lot. Lyrics. What was, what was his theme song in the original? Um, his was somewhere over the rainbow, but it was the punk version. Yeah. Right? It was like the, not the real big fish. It was like me first in the gimme gimme's version. That sounds right. So the, the lyrics are over and over. We care a lot. Um, but it's, we care a lot about disasters, fires, floods, and killer bees. We care a lot about the NASA shuttle falling into the sea. We care about starvation and the food that Live Aid bought. We care a lot about disease, baby, rock, Hudson rock. Um, we care about gamblers and pushers and freaks. We care about the people who live on the street. We care about the welfare of all you boys and girls. We care a lot about you people because we're out to save the world. So it's it's very tongue-in-cheek on what was going on at that time. So it's we care a lot about the Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines. We care about the NY, the SF, and the LAPD. We care about you people and your guns and the wars you're fighting. Gee, that looks like fun. Like just more sarcasm. We care about Cabbage Patch Kids, the Smurfs, and DMC, Madonna, uh, we cop for Mr. T. So this is the original one. The other one is they talk about garbage pail kids and transformers, which is the, the one I put in there. But they have two different um, ones. The, they have three different versions. Oh. Um, but I put in the, the second version, which is the more, uh, well-known. Uh, and then the hook is it's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. So if that also plays back into Xander's role in this movie which is he has to plan everything and he has to conduct everything it's still a dirty job and he has to do it yeah, so i think yeah. that's i like that for him so i think we care a lot is going to be the xander like maybe when i'm trying to get in the mode maybe i'll listen to that okay i like that so, one good i'm trying to um, think of of what would be good for cooper and i'm just looking through i made a, a playlist a little <coughs> bit ago of just like songs from the past like kind of yeah. high school college age for us i did that too Damn. um so i'm just looking through them now if we want because he he's the sad sack right right he is i do have a sad boy playlist so i can look at this well there's a song called children of divorce by johnny craig unless children you've heard it divorce. i have not i'm pulling it up i've, I've got children. a couple that i think would fit pretty well Okay, Children of Divorce, Johnny Craig. So Johnny Craig is a piece of shit, but his voice is that of an angel. So I think it's okay to put the music in there, uh, just for us. That's not one that I'd want to put in the movie. But did, oh, okay. did, did Mike ever tell you about the like what he did, his big thing? No. Like he did a bunch of shit, but the the one that I remember the most was like 2010 circa. He scammed yeah. a bunch of his fans saying he had like let's say 20 macbook pros and he was gonna sell them for super cheap oh but he just took i think the money and was like fuck you guys right and they gave him the money so it's not like he there wasn't a contract or something right like he didn't get <clears throat> fucked for it yeah like there was nothing they could do about it exactly okay fuck <laughs> yeah. let me make this full screen enter full screen um let me i'm gonna see what else i have on sad boy i also have a divorce playlist so i can look at that too okay um, are, are you adding them as we go i haven't added uh i can add um children of divorce it, it's not showing up for me like we i didn't put it in that's why did you put in we oh care it's not no that's not showing yeah up. hold on let me let me go back to children of divorce Is there add like a to playlist freaks road trip do you see Children oh, of Divorce? Go. Yep, it just popped up. Okay, so maybe I didn't put We Care A Lot. Oh, that. We Care A Lot's in there now. They just both showed okay, up great. at the same time. Okay, great. Um, okay, let me go to... Uh, it is, and for legal purposes, this is not true. Uh, it's in my playlist called Kill Me. 
uh, it's kill me please. So I um, I made this right when I got uh, separated. So the first song is somebody kill me from the wedding singer. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. But there was um, did you ever watch her? No, I heard it's really good though. So I'm going to put this on, which is the, the moon song that Joaquin Phoenix and Scarlett Johansson do a duet of. And that, that gets to me in a way also by your side gets me as well by your side, which is the Beachwood sparks cover. It's um in Scott Pilgrim when it's the Ramona come closer chapter. And it's kind of that harmonica. If, when you I'll, put, I'll it, put in it in there, in. yeah. Think I leave you sad, baby. You know me better than that. Uh, so I added that, and then um, I'm gonna add Moon Song as well. Okay. Okay, let me listen to By Your Side. Okay, you'll know it as soon as it it hits because they only use a little bit of it. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like the transition part, right? Mm-hmm. But the song I really like is a Sade song, but it's um, it's basically just describing like, uh, let me see here. I'm going to pull up the lyrics. By your side, Sade. I was at a bar trivia and someone pronounced Sade as Saed. <laughs> and I died a little inside. So um, the lyrics are, you think I'd leave your side, baby. You know me better than that. I think think i'd leave you down when you're down on your knees i wouldn't do that i'll tell you you're right when you're wrong and if only you could see into me uh oh when you're cold i'll be there hold you tight when you're on my outside baby and you can't get in i'll show you you're so much better than you know so it's it's something that i personally was going through when i was going through the initial separation because that's how i felt it was like i'll do whatever you want me to do so i figured Mm -hmm. that could also be where he could be at some point mentally, even either he's still in it or he's out of it. I I think it's a good a good song for it. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, we, we have him a year removed, right? Yeah, yeah. You you still aren't healed after a year. No, no. I I just mean I'm just trying to get a mental picture. Oh no, you're okay. I'm just I'm saying in general. And then if you want to listen to Moon Song real quick, while I'm I'm gonna start looking for. Skyler, um, I, I, while you're doing that, I have one that I think will work. Uh, do you know the front bottoms? Have I shown you them? The front bottoms, no. Yeah, but I so, am typing. <laughs> they're they're like a it's like a minimalistic punk kind of band. Okay. And there's one called Twin Size Mattress, which was the first one. It's their first me, one. Yeah, it's the first one that got me into it too. And um, from what. Like I know the words, but I, I haven't sat down and thought about what it was about. Okay. Um, but I, from what I remember, I think it's it's like someone who isn't where they thought they would be or where they want to be in life. And then yeah. there's one line that I'm looking at now. I want to contribute to the chaos. I don't want to watch and then complain because I am through finding blame. That is the decision that I have made. So it's it's like instead of just sitting on the sidelines – and just letting life mm-hmm. pass you by, kind of taking control, even if it's not the right choice, you're still doing something. Right. Which I think it's engaging. Yeah, which I think is very Cooper. Yeah, I like that. I'll add that. Um. Yeah, actually, this this works too because I'm, I'm assuming Chelsea will not be happy with him. Uh, she hopes I'm cursed forever to sleep on a twin size mattress um. in somebody's attic or basement my whole life, never graduating up in size to add another and my nightmares will have nightmares every night okay um let's see here i was looking at where was it uh post acid by waves i don't know if uh you've heard that song as well Mm -mm. it was in most of my things come from obviously pop culture and things that I've seen in movies. So waves was in the Scott Pilgrim animated thing they did for adult swim. It's very brief. Um, but I like the song, which is misery. Will you comfort me in my time of need? Would you understand? 
understand what you understand. I'm in my time of need. Would you understand? The hook is that I'm just having fun with you. So yeah, yeah. I think that that's I think that's a Skylar song if there isn't one. Yeah, and the 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 vibe of it too, because he with was you. he was very uh, like post hardcore when we did it originally yeah. in like 2009. Right. So this one's very fitting because it's that that mm-hmm. grunge like. Da, 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 da. Oh, don't start playing music. Ooh. That's gonna get us flagged. What was, what was that? That was uh, "Live Outside" by Enter Shikari. Okay. Which is a great song, but doesn't really fit here. Gotcha. Um, let me see here. So, what else? What else is um, Skylar going through? Because I think it's very it's it's easiest for us to come up with Xander and Cooper because they're like yeah. loosely based on us, you know. Um, I would say because he is feeling that um, there's that walking through, uh, kind of living through a haze kind of thing that Skylar's doing, which is he's waking up and then just basically doing the same thing over and over um which let me think i know mike is gonna hate me for it because he hates the song but i like the song (laughs) what song um what's the what's the show with russian doll so did you ever watch a russian doll no it's on netflix so it's uh about a girl who keeps dying like and she keeps waking up on her birthday in the bathroom and the song that's playing every time she comes back is crimson and clover because the the hook for it is over and over and over so i think that would fit him if he's literally just doing a over and over and over because he's kind of rotating right he's just sitting in the same spot doing the same thing over and over kind of spinning his wheels exactly so my thing is do i go the joan jet version which is a heavier version or i do the dreamier version which is the tommy and i think i want to do the dreamier one because i feel like that's that's more hazy like you can't really catch a grip of anything we should add some uh some shoegaze in there shoegaze yeah i don't know if it's still a popular genre but it's like that kind of spacey Oh, like um, orange, not orange crush. What is it? What the fuck is it called? It, it was a lot in Bandersnatch. Uh, I'll, I'll come to it. Orange. Do you talk while I think? Uh, sorry, I'm looking. I'm trying to find some Shuvie stuff because I remember it's at the orange. end of college, Tim was super into it. I have a band that'll work. I just don't remember. Tangerine Dream. Got it. It was an orange. It was Tangerine Dream. That sounds like it would be one. Tangerine Dream. Um, oh, before I forget. Uh, I think it's Sweatpants by Childish Gambino. Yeah. Uh, I think that one might fit too. You faker, then some sweet and low black. Okay, we can yeah. put we can put that one in there. Let me let me before we add it, but let me make sense. Sure, there's one part that it's um where you pay for your friends. Oh, gotcha. Is that is that from you Sweatpants? You pay for your friends, man. I do the opposite. No, no, it's no. Like, I, I think I take that as a compliment. Uh, you it's pay like for your I don't think so. I take that as a compliment. I got it. It is three thousand and five. You're right. Okay. My God, you pay for your friends. I take that as a compliment. Got a house full of homies. While I feel so the opposite. Okay. Incompetent. So yeah, Anthony. we can add. <laughs> we'll add uh, three thousand and five there. Okay. And then I added just a top Tangerine Dream uh, song. Which you could just go in the middle of it and then not have to worry about catching up anywhere. Yeah. Um, so I'll add 3005. That's in there. This is like, um, this feels like very synth wavy. Yes, it's very synth wavy. I like synth wave. Oh, me too. My stepbrother's super into it. Is he really? Donovan's into that? Yeah, he's like. Uh... When I, I forget what the last place I traveled before the quarantine was, but he gave he uh I asked him for a bunch of bunch of synthwave albums, 
and it was great because i was just like writing on the plane ride back and it's good background oh, music because cool. it gets you into a vibe and yeah but you're not focusing on lyrics or anything or beats okay i mm-hmm. like that um i'm gonna add uh the smiths which what did we learn about morrissey josh uh fuck him fuck him unless he's in the smiths then he's god then he's amazing um so i'm gonna put back to the old house which okay. is uh basically the narrator doesn't want to go back to his old house it's um full of just old uh memories let me see here back to the old house lyrics so it's i would rather not go back to the old house there's too many bad memories two memories out there when you cycled by here began all my dreams and the saddest thing i've ever seen and uh, you never knew how much I liked you because I never even told you and I meant to. So it's just a lot of regret and not wanting to go back to, you know, where they were. Or, and I think that fits with the theme, which is, you know, they don't want to – we're not taking this, you know, where they grew up. We're not doing a let's go back to the old town because, you know, None not only do we want to – Exactly. None of them want to go back there. They've all built their own thing. So I think that's kind of looming in the background for them. Um, yeah. Maybe there's a, there's a little bit of fear that – because they've had this space from each other for so long that there's some yeah. fear that uh, coming back together will take them back to where they were when yeah. they were younger. So even just okay. the, the idea of being together as friends is a little like they, they, they want it, but it's also scary because they don't want they don't want to be 17 again. Yeah, which actually this also fits into another uh, song, which is by the jam called A Town Called Malice, which is um, I mean, I'm looking at the lyrics. It's uh, better stop dreaming of the quiet life because it's the one we'll never know. And quit running for that runaway bus because those rosy days are few. And stop apologizing for the things you've never done because time is short and life is cruel, but it's up to us to change this town called Malice. Hmm. So, I mean, I feel like that can fit as well as, you know, moving forward and trying to go through, you know, move past your, your past shit and stop, you know, saying what you should have done and just start moving towards what you're trying to do. Yeah. Like progress. So, uh, exactly. So I'll put that there. Um, I'm just going to start Googling cool. music. <laughs> okay. Um, I always like to put hole, uh, cause I like, despite Courtney love being a terrible person and killing Kurt Cobain, look it up. <laughs> um, she made great music. Um, so either I'm trying to figure out where I can put one of her songs in there. Maybe Malibu, Malibu, a uh, hole, which is, um, crash and burn all the stars explode tonight. How'd you get so desperate? How'd you stay alive? I don't know if that fits. Um, God, their TV is so fucking loud. Who's? It's the living room TV. <laughs> I can hear whatever they're listening to or they're watching. Um, Here's another one uh, called Your New Twin Size Bed. <laughs> Some Death Cat That's good. TV. Um... Let me see here. Um, I feel like I'm trying to think what could fit, but a Gogo Wardello song could be cool. Maybe Wonderlust King. I don't know it, but maybe. Hold on, let me see what the lyrics are. I'm listening to it, but it's been so long since I've listened to them. Yeah, this uh, one thing we didn't think about in doing this is trying to we have to listen to the songs as well so there's going to be dead air but i'm listening and trying to i'm trying to listen and talk at the same time um let me see here well it's about it looks like it's about a guy just traveling he's a wonderless king literally um so maybe not maybe a little i'm trying to think of like all the different 
bands that I don't really get to scrape into, but meant a lot to me. Um, Little Dragon is always a good choice for me. Because I love Little Dragon. Ooh, they got a new album? What? I'm just going to heart that so I can listen to that later. Um, Yukimi is a Japanese Swedish singer, and her voice is amazing. Huh. Um, ooh, I know. I'm going to add Pizza Butt. Pizza Butt? Pizza Butt. Pizza Butt is a Skylar song, and I know it is. I'm adding it now. Is that, the, is that the band or is that the song? Sounds That's like, the song. Oh, is it by Diarrhea Plan? <clears throat> no, it's by MC Chris. Oh, okay. That's fitting. So listen to that. Um, I'm going to go back to Xander real quick because I don't have a second Xander song. Um, Diarrhea Planet. Oh, I started searching that on YouTube and it came up with Diarrhea Sounds. I'm like, <laughs> it's just some guy like in them water. <laughs> yeah. So like, another I their name, but the band's pretty good from what I remember. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think because I don't want to use another Faith No More song, but I do. Um, to be fair, it's a different singer and it's a completely different sound than We Care a Lot. Uh-huh. Um. It's called Epic. It's one. It's their. It's their top song. It's their song that they're best known for. Um, because I like the the hook a lot, which is um, "You want it all, but you can't have it. It's in your face, but you can't grab it." And the hook is, you know, what is it? What is it? It's just what is it over and over. Um, I'm really downplaying how great the song is, um, but I'm gonna put it in because okay. I. I like the song a lot, and I think I think uh, Xander is a millennial punker at this point because we talked about this earlier. Gen Zs are making fun of millennials, and I think we should play into that at one point. I think there should be like a Gen Z making fun of them scene. <laughs> oh, how great was that? Be? Too right. He's like, "How do you do, other fellow kids?" I'm like, "You're old," and he's like, "What? No, I'm not. I'm like you guys. I'm on Twitch. Yeah, Twitch is over, dude." It's all about that mixer now, dog. It's all about mixer, dude. Like, come on. I'm going to put that down on the dock. Yeah, you should. They're... That's a great idea. <laughs> we get like three Gen Z, like just mean girl kids that are like <laughs> yeah. texting. Like maybe they don't even insult him. They just make memes in, while standing in front of him. Dude, you're trending. What? I'm trending? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you should have a bad picture taken of him, and it becomes a like a local meme. Oh god, that'd be great. Okay. Um, oh, I I'll think this that... song might be good too. What's the song? Uh, Kids by Diarrhea Planet. <laughs> I like I the. Can't I fucking have hate a serious name. face when you say that. I know the 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 um the name sucks, but their music's pretty good. So this one, I'll I'll read the lyrics because it's mostly just like vibey instrumental. Yeah, uh, I feel so lost when I try to bring myself down so I can relate to the things you think about, like burning bridges and having children and the salty taste of my sweat in the ocean. Can we carry so much weight? Because I'm a sinner. I've got no self-control. I'm just a dog so ugly and so old. We're just kids. So looking, okay. looking it up on uh, Genius, it's like mm. it's about not being able to relate to people of a similar age who are doing the adult things, you know, like having yeah. kids growing up doing their life which i think is really good for uh specifically skyler because he's just playing twitch he's just playing video games all the time he has no yeah. interest in in finding someone or uh, having kids he just wants to keep building his thing just right and the vibe okay. is just i good. like that oh hell yeah so um i want to put uh, a beastie boys track in there okay because there are three of them the three of us. So I either want to put in check to check it out or um, either no sleep till Brooklyn. I don't want to do uh fight for you fight for your right. Cause I feel like that's to them in high school. Cause yeah. as they got older, like they started rapping about other things. I mean, fight for your right is a complete parody of guitar, like hair metal songs. Yeah. And that's why it blew up. Cause it was so catchy and they're like, yeah, this is a hair metal song. And they're like, no, we're making fun of you. Um, what if we, so do... I think either, 
Can we just do yep. No Sleep Till Brooklyn, put it in the movie, and every time it's about to say Brooklyn, just monotone Hold on, over you cut out. New Mexico. No sleep till New Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Albuquerque. <laughs> Albuquerque. Dan it. Dan, 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 dan. Albuquerque. Um, I think that's a good one because it's, it's a pretty road trippy type song. Okay, No Sleep Till Brooklyn. Um, There's actually, what is it? The Weird Al song. Uh, Albuquerque. It's like a seven minute story. Oh, it's 11 minutes, but it's the most famous Albuquerque song. Yeah. I mean, so at this rate, there. let's just add uh, the Star Wars one. <laughs> Do you want to add the Star Wars one? <laughs> no. Are you being sarcastic, you dick? We can take it out. It's fine. No, it's cool. Um, we need we need some fun in there. We don't have any fun songs. It's all been like, yeah, my yeah, life sad. Is so hard. Uh, I'm also gonna put uh, "Wannabe" by the Spice Girls. <laughs> okay. Because can, uh, can I add that, songs too? You should be able to if you're following it, right? No, I also don't know how to spell diarrhea. <laughs> diarrhea is hard to spell. Um, without autocorrect, I'm putting it in because uh, did you you watch the boys right? Yeah. Which is Carl Urban's big like when everyone's splitting up, he asks what the Spice Girls are doing, and that inspires them to all come back together because you know apart they're whatever, but when they're together they're the Spice Girls. Mm -hmm. So I like I like that idea for them. Plus it's just kind of a fun song in general. So I can um, add to a playlist. Okay, let me go to it and see if I can give you, like, a thing. Um, go to playlist. Collaborative playlist. There you go. Sweet. See if you can do it now. Add to playlist. I don't see it. We're at 30 minutes, by the way. Oh, shit. So collaborative playlist. Um, right now we are sitting at one hour and four minutes of just songs. So to recap, we have We Care A Lot, Faith No More, Children of Divorce, Johnny Craig, By Your Side, Beachwood Sparks, The Moon Song from uh, Her with Scarlett Johansson, uh, Twin Size Mattress, The From Bottoms, Post Acid by Waves, Crimson and Clover by Tommy James and the uh, Shondells, Love on a Real Train, uh, Christoph Franck, uh, 3005, Childish Gambino, Back to the Old House, The Smiths, uh, Town Called Malice, The Jam, Pizza Butt, MC Chris, Epic, Faith No More, uh, No Sleep Till Brooklyn, Beastie Boys, Albuquerque, Weird Al, and Wannabe Spice Girls. And we will have Kids by Diarrhea Planet as soon as I'm able to add. There we go. Did so you add it? There. Yep. Kids, Diarrhea Planet. I see it right there. Yep. Um, so would you like to stop now for now? Uh, and then we could always pick this up? Yeah, we can do another one. Well, okay, okay. so we're at one hour now, right? No, we're at 32 minutes. No, 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 of, of, the, of music. Yeah, we're at an hour of music. Let's get it to one and a half, and then we'll okay. go from there. We'll call it quits. Okay. Yeah. So let's see what, um, what's some other stuff. Like, what are some themes? Because I've just been googling, like, what musics that deal with whatever theme. Because right. I, I kind of want to find some stuff that we haven't heard before. Gotcha. So I'm gonna look at because they make you uh, a playlist of things for you to explore. So made for you playlists. Um, daily drive, daily mixes. Your Summer Rewind. We made you a new playlist featuring... Oh, it's all the songs that I like. So it's a lot of uh, Smashing Pumpkins, <laughs> Misfits. Um, what about Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe by Kendrick Lamar? <laughs> yeah, put that in, man. Um, are you listening to it right now? Yeah. Okay, great. Is it coming through? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Um, I, just think I just saw your head bopping. We... Gotcha. I think something with Kendrick would be good. It's oh, he, yeah. He makes really good music. I'm trying to think of if that's the right song for it, though. I'm humble. In my opinion, I think Humble is a great 
song. But does it fit the? Are we going for tone bitch, or are we going for bitch? Lyrics? Be humble. Yeah, but who who is that about? Or are we just trying to do like uh, vibe side? It could be vibe. Um, hold on, I'm looking at yay right now. Because what I was thinking about with "Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe," which I'd have to actually read the lyrics because I haven't listened to the song in a while, but. I'm assuming that there's going to be someone trying to change someone on this road trip. Right. Not okay. Mean. I do know. I do not mean. Do you um, know what I'm, I'm saying? Gonna, I do know what you're saying. I'm going to add uh, Them Changes by Thundercat. <laughs> I can dig it. I love, I love Thundercat. I think Thundercat is a great artist. Plus, that's just, I like that vibe. Blom, blom, blom. Um, okay. Uh, I'm still going to fill in <laughs> cold air or dead air. Um, <laughs> I'm going to look at, ow. Um, dude, I pulled my neck today. Did you really? And, yeah. I went, I haven't <sighs> like lifted in a while. So I went and did shoulder stuff, pulled my yeah. neck. So I punished mm-hmm. my neck by running six miles. Of course. Why would you not do that? Because that Fucking way, it'll know. Person. It'll know what it did. Yeah, yeah. by running. <laughs> it'll think twice before it pulls itself again. I'll run away from my problems. <laughs> you can't catch me, thoughts. Um, oh, it hurt. Good. No, it's not good. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> it hurts. Then you ran. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my legs feel fine. It's just my neck was hurting. Yeah, like, I, I wonder it why. It's my forearm. Well, all the, what is it? The shock that's coming from your ankles is going to go up your spine. Yeah, I just and, ran with the posture. Yeah, because you've been known for your best posture. I once got a compliment about having good posture. Did you? Moms I, don't count. Oh, shit. Then, oh, uh, fuck. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> um, I'm going to add Here Comes Your Man by the Pixies. Okay. Just because... It's a uh, it's a song about a loving hobo that's going from boxcar to boxcar, but it's still a travel kind of thing. And I just like the hook. Uh, here comes your man. Um, Are we going to have them do I drugs? Did like we talk that. about that? We did. We did talk about it. Okay. If we do, I'm thinking Lakeshore Drive. I do like Lakeshore Drive. So are you going to – do you want to add Lakeshore Drive there? Yep. Just did. Okay. Um, so loud. It's so loud. What is the music? There, you're whatever. To? It's like rattling the the what you call it the wall. Um, oh, the TV. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, we let's see some here. Brian. Yeah. Oh, higher brothers have bitch. Don't kill my dad. Bitch, don't kill my dad. <laughs> Yeah, no, not the right vibe. Okay. <laughs> oh, the Yachty. What about um, Old Town Road? What is it? Old Town Road. What about Road. Old Town Road? No. Only country roads here. Oh, you're right. To the place. Um, West Virginia. <laughs> Uh, something's really staticky for me. Could you save that money by a little dicky? <laughs> um, would I'm would gonna... would one of them be super stingy? I feel like one of them has to be stingy, right? Like it wouldn't be Xander. Skyler is kind of doing this. I mean, I I feel like it would come down to. Cooper Cooper I, would be well you are all about saving money like well no I'm about making my money make money for me <laughs> but Cooper could be about saving money I don't know if you remember but we went to a target and you were gonna buy the floor model of something because <laughs> they didn't have any in the back yeah because they didn't have it at all I wanted you to get that uh that camera, camera. I'm just looking out for you dog thanks ma'am uh, I'm going to add I'm Politicians in My Eyes by uh, Death. 
which is if you haven't watched the documentary for a band called death it's fantastic it's pre-punk three uh brothers from i want to say new york uh they originally made a funk band and they were like the first pre-black punk band uh and it's it's a really really cool story and uh pre-black punk they're pre-punk and they're the first black like punk band oh oh the first black okay gotcha punk band so they're three three black brothers from new york and they were in a gospel uh i want to say they're in a gospel funk band named lamb's wool okay and then their oldest brother who was like the guitar player it's been a long time since i've watched the documentary but it was really really good um he was like yeah we should be playing something else and then they started playing this they had master tapes and it was like dead for 20 years and then it started getting traction on the underground punk scene and now i want to say they released it in 2009 they originally recorded it back in like 1970 something like early 70s if not late 60s i can dig that so i put politicians in my eyes which is a song that they wrote about i want to say the vietnam war Which is, you know, uh, I feel like it would be Ooh. a. Uh, you're you're listening to it. Yeah, I love the, the bass line. Is <laughs> I love the bass line, and what is it? The lead singer is the one who's playing bass. Oh, really? So not only is he doing like all this shit, he's singing as well. Um, it's a yeah, it's it, they're a proto punk band. Gotcha, gotcha. Da- so i'm just trying to figure out what proto punk so proto punk oh detroit michigan my mistake and they were in 1971 damn so So, what makes it proto punk um is it too complicated it said uh trio started out as a funk band and then switched to rock after seeing the who seeing alice cooper play was also an inspiration um push the one of their friends pushed the group into hard rock direction while this didn't help them find a following in the mid 70s then they really boomed uh proto punk proto punk is um played by garage bands from the 60s to 70s that presaged the punk rock movement so they were pre-punk like my mom is a proto karen (laughs) right this is proto punk so this is before punk hit they were already doing it so it's just because it, it wasn't popular yet is what makes it proto Basically, yeah, it was it was proto because they were already stripping everything away before the movement. So before CBGB and um, before all of that. Yeah, yeah, because um, it, it, it still sounds like punk music to me. But if it's just like a time based thing, I was yeah. just I was just curious. I don't really the, the different timeline of genres. I don't really get. <laughs> it's cool. Like there's I hardcore think, uh, and then post hardcore. Uh, but all I know is that post hardcore adds singing. Hardcore sounds the same to me. It's the same as punk, dude. I know. Well, punk is everywhere, but pop punk is different from punk, and I will die on that hill. Uh, It's very different. It is very different, and some would say pop punk is worse. I would say that. I'm that person. Um, So it is on Voodoo for free. This isn't a hot take. You know I hate pop punk. (laughs) (laughs) I've always hated pop punk. I know. You still get it. You still get it, Dad. There you go. Now you Mom can watch and the Dad uh, took a Tumblr away. <laughs> Just kidding. I have a secret one <laughs> that they don't know about. I can go on my 3DS. <laughs> I could go on the fridge because it has Wi Fi. <laughs> Thank you, Samsung. Did you see that? Where the girl was kept getting grounded and then she kept tweeting, but she kept tweeting from other things that she had, like her Wii, and then at the end it was she was tweeting from the refrigerator. Yeah, yeah, I did see that. I will not be silenced. We're at uh an hour and a half at twenty three songs. Dope. So how do you feel? I feel good. I think uh I think this is a good place to wrap up just since we we've got ninety minutes of music. And then uh, yeah. I'm sure we'll keep adding to it and, and filtering oh, it out. Sure. And if anyone who watches this wants to check it out at maybe give us some ideas to it for it, I can talk tonight. I'm an adult. <laughs> Adulting. Uh, yeah. We will put the the description or the, the link in the description. And uh, yeah, 
yeah. You got anything else to say? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's one of those weeks. It is one of those weeks. It's just one of those days. Everyone, everything sucks. Everyone's fucked up. That was for um, you, Mike. It was, and I'm not proud of it. So have a great rest of your evening uh, or day or week, and make sure to check out the Drunk Door Show uh, on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Twitch. Play every Tuesday. We play Dungeons and Dragons live, where uh, I dungeon master. Also, I play video games now, and you can follow me at twitch.tv slash jvelez1199. It's a rip-roaring time, baby. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. See ya. Bye.